a nutshell, there needs to be prospects for high capital growth. Um, so low growth companies or lifestyle businesses are not going to be appropriate. But the other thing to bear in mind is that you need to understand what's involved in, in raising equity. So it's, it's going to be quite a, a long process. It can sometimes take six to 12 months to do it. And anecdotal evidence suggests that only about 5% of companies are actually successful in raising equity. So you've got to be patient to do it. The other thing to, to bear in mind is that investors will want controls over the business. They will want a say in important decisions. And they'll also want to say in, uh, in remuneration who gets paid what. The, uh, the other thing to bear in mind as, as well is that the, um, eventually the investors will want to realise their investment, so they will want an exit. And that will probably involve a trade sale of the company or a flotation. And then finally, investors um, will want the entrepreneur to confirm certain facts about the business are true. We call them technically warranties. And uh, that means you could incur some personal liability as well if those warranties are incorrect. I think in a word, they're very often not bankable. And what I mean by that is banks have fairly low returns on, uh, on loans compared to equity investors who expect much higher returns. Therefore, banks look for greater security. And one of the problems with startups and early stage companies is they don't have the cash flows and the assets um, available to provide the collateral the banks, the banks need. Um, and sometimes banks will look for personal guarantees. If you've got a wealthy parent or something, they, they might be able to guarantee a loan. But those issues usually mean that banks are not that attracted to early stage companies. Uh, however, um, companies can find that they might attract venture debt. So this might venture capitalists who are willing to provide debt but alongside having a right to purchase equity or to convert the loan into equity, and that compensates them for the higher risk they're taking.